Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. All right, so if you're hearing bugs, please excuse it. Like um, I'm outside and there's these bugs are being like real noisy. But anyway, so um, my by this time I should have already uploaded my birthday vlog, so y'all would have known. I went to Sephora for my birthday to shop. So of course I got quite a bit of stuff. So I thought, uh, why not do a haul? So let me show y'all the little goodies that I got. So I'm just gonna reach into this baggy here and just pull out random stuff. So I got, all right, let me do this actually. So this video isn't like super long. So I got three of these liquid um, lipsticks from Smashbox. Like, I swear to you, these liquid lipsticks, they go on so creamy and so smooth and it like, literally as soon as you put it on, you could be trying to remove it like the second after and it's like put, it's like, it stays put, it dries pretty quickly and it's just like super pigmented super creamy and comfortable to wear so I got this really bright red it's called bang bang so it kind of it's the box is almost true to color it looks pretty much like this then I got girl gang which is more of like a burgundy color and then I also got um, misconduct which is more of it's it's kind of burgundy red with a brownish undertone so let me take it one out the box so you can see and that's what this this one looks like really pretty like I said you know I love the consistency and everything <laughs> so yep that's that for those then I got I got four of these um, Urban Decay eyeshadows from their moon dust um, collection that they have it's like really really shimmery I wish I could show y'all like um, like a swatch I could but it, it would the video would just be way too long so I won't but I did swatches on my hand at Sephora and I'm telling you guys like it is so so super pigmented like it's really shimmery like extremely shimmery I would almost think it was like a, a foil eyeshadow like really it probably is I don't even know but it looks like this here really pretty and when you open it it's like really really shimmery I'm actually gonna do a swatch actually there you go it's like really really shimmery and I don't have much lighting out here so you really can't tell but yeah this one is more of like like a brownish gold silver so all the other ones are like a lot brighter than this honestly and then this is in the color diamond dog and it's more of a brownie type shimmer and then I got Scorpio which is like a green type type of shimmer that's what it looks like and it's Scorpio it won't focus but whatever I got solace which it doesn't really show when you look at it it looks green but it's like it's almost burgundy reddish but it has green sparkles in it like just like you see here that's pretty much what it looks like and then this one moon zodiac it's green but it has what is this silver silver sparkles so they're really pretty and then I bought an empty palette to put these in it holds four shadows blah 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 yeah it holds four shadows oh my god I'm just ripping all these boxes up I honestly I'm a sucker for packaging so especially when it's this pretty I like to keep the packaging so I really didn't want to just break the box but gosh they are hard to open not cooperating with me at all but how pretty is this like oh my god I can just see myself going somewhere with this and be like what but yep, the mirror is right there and then you can put four shadows in there. So that's why I only got four of those little individual shadows. And uh, next I got the, finally hopped on the bandwagon and got the Tartlet 2 palette. Which it is an absolutely gorgeous palette. Like especially for us chocolate ladies. Like I feel like every, this palette would be good for everybody. But I feel like especially for for dark skin girls like this is just perfect because it's got like all nudes it's like a perfect everyday palette how freaking gorgeous is this like it's so pretty and then the package in itself is just like so cute it's just like too cute, too cute. so 
Yeah, I got that. And um, it's a tartlet too. They have another one, the original tartlet palette. But um, they're pretty much almost look the same to me, honestly. But this one has um, some prettier colors in it to me. Hold on, let me see something. Okay, then I got this Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. It is absolutely, I honestly bought it mainly for the packaging. But when I put it on my skin, like, how cute is this foundation? Like, really cute. But seriously, though, when I put it on my skin, like, it blended so nicely. Like, I didn't even use, you know, the little applicator sponges that they have there. I didn't bother with it. I just pumped a little on my face, actually, and I was just like, when I say my face was so smooth, you know, when you put on a primer, like a, a, a skin smoothing primer, and then you put your foundation on, and it's just like so flawless, so smooth and creamy and nice. That's exactly how this felt just by itself on my skin. And I got this in the shade 11.0, which I think is one of their newer shades because they never had like these darker shades. But thumbs up to them for getting darker shades. <laughs> So, yeah, and there's one that's a little darker than this one, too, so that's cool. I like that. I like that, and then, damn, came right out the box. I got this Becca, oh, my God, the glare. The Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Splits Shimmering Skin Perfector, blah, blah, blah. It's a highlighter, but um, let me just show you how pretty it is. It's a highlighter and a blush in one. And the highlighter is like super, super like shimmery. Like, let me show you. Look at that. Like, damn, girl, like, mm, this is the, and that is for me barely touching it. I just wipe my hand on it, and that's like what I love about Becca highlighters. Like, how pretty. Can you imagine that, like, on your cheekbone? Like, mm, I'm not playing. Plus, I think I'm not a blush girl, but if I spent money on it, I will use it. And unfortunately you can't get the Jacqueline um, the Jacqueline Hill collection with just the highlighter in it like it comes like this they have three different shades and they all come like this but um this was my favorite one and I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I really don't think the um, blush would look super crazy on me or anything and this one was in this shade it's in this one is called hyacinth so that's the one I got and you can tell it's different by the packaging because the um the other Becca highlighters, which I got another Becca highlighter, so I'm going to show you. The other Becca highlighters has, like, black around the edges, so you can tell it's different, but, yep, I love it, and I love the packaging. Super, super cute. Super cute. Super cute. Then, moving along on the same lines, yeah, I also got another highlighter, which kind of sucks because the last Becca highlighter I got in Topaz, which is absolutely gorgeous, but I accidentally picked up the one that was a cream highlighter instead of the powder and they did tell me I could bring it back but I feel like I've had it at home so long now they're probably not gonna take it back anyways so I got this one this time which is opal and let me show you what opal looks like one swipe across and BAM so that's opal and that's the one that's in the um, Jaclyn Hill one so you see all her highlighters are like BAM they're expensive but in my opinion they're worth it so that's the other Becca highlighter in opal and then I got oh lord okay yeah I think that's it for the stuff I actually got but then you know how Sephora is when you spend a whole bunch of damn money they'll give you a bunch of free stuff so my god I'm losing light I need to hurry up so I got this magnet tight age the fire from dr. Brandt Oh my god, it is getting dark as a mug. Anyways, so um, the lady at Sephora, oh shit, oh my god, oh my god, wait, I think I dropped the magnet. Oh my god, I'm just dropping stuff. So the lady at Sephora actually told me I had to be sure to read the instructions on this before I use it. What the hell is going on? Like, stuff are just falling out of this damn box. It's like... They're saying um, you have to, when you put the um, mask on, you have to use, I'm guessing, the magnet, which is this right here, to remove it. Which is kind of weird, but I'll give it a try. And if I hate it, I'll let y'all know. But, yep, that's that from Dr. Brandt. And I didn't actually buy this. It was free. It was free. I don't splurge on skincare stuff. I don't know why. I prefer to go drugstore on those because, one, I don't have skin problems, so... You know, I don't feel like I need to, and the cheap stuff that I do get work just fine, so I don't feel like there's a need. I got this Marc Jacobs 
Marc Jacobs lipstick and I think the other piece is an eyeliner. It is actually like really, really cute. I'm just going to pick it out real quick and show you because I really don't have the time. But how cute is this packaging? Like, can you tell me why it's so dang cute? Like, and then the lipstick is really pretty. And they gave me a Sephora um, free sample lipstick too, which I honestly feel like it the sephora one that they gave me and this one it's like almost pretty much the same shade of lipstick which i don't mind because it's like really pretty it's what the lipstick looks like and then it comes up into this like mauve mauve lipstick which i'm excited about because i feel like those colors look cute on me that's my opinion you know if you think differently feel free to let me know and let me just show you the sephora one i might have to go inside actually because it's actually getting real dark real quick um the Sephora one looks like this, and let me show you, yeah, pretty much almost the same color. It's just, I would say this one is a little more light. It's a little lighter, but they're both really cute. And then I got some perfume samples. I got this Marc Jacobs Mod Noir, which smells really good. I got Elizabeth James Nirvana. Smells good as well, and then I got, wait. They're both Nirvana. Okay, this one is bourbon. I'm sorry. It's bourbon. And this one is rose. But they both say Elizabeth James Nirvana. So I got three of those. And then I got a whole bunch of like skincare packets right here that I might use. I might not, <laughs> to be honest. And then the last three goodies that I got. Oh, no. I got this Murad Oil Control Mattifier with SPF, which is pretty cool but I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I am not an oily skin person it's quite the opposite I got dry skin so that might not be a good fit and then I got a makeup forever eyeshadow which is pretty all right so that's it for my little haul um, I hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet I would really appreciate it if you did like share and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye